This is what you get when you cross a dinosaur with a cactus, a porcupine, and maybe a medieval warhammer. This is Spicomelis, and yeah, it's as weird as it sounds. Paleontologists are kind of losing their shit because this dinosaur is crazy on a number of levels. Firstly, it wasn't just armored, it was over armored. Spikes literally everywhere. And these spikes were fused to the bones, something we've never seen in any dinosaurs or animals since. Okay, I'm excited, so let me back up. This fossil was first discovered in 2021, just a single rib with a weird blade stuck to it. At first, scientists were like, okay, this is weird, bizarre, maybe a one-off, let's investigate. And then we fast forward to 2023, a farmer in Morocco uncovers more bones after a flood, and it turns out it wasn't just a fluke. This dinosaur really was covered in weapons of mass spikiness. And these spikes weren't small either. Some of them were over 87 centimeters long. I mean, can you imagine being impaled by one of those? Other ribs were teardrop shaped, some were double pointed, others clustered around the collar. Basically, this was the punk rocker of dinosaurs. I mean, straight out of Guitar Hero. If you remove the spikes, this dinosaur may look a bit familiar. It's an Ankylosaurus, basically those armored herbivore eating creatures with big club tails. This one lived around 165 million years ago during the Middle Jurassic, which makes it the oldest ankylosaur we've ever found. And what's even more impressive is this is the first one discovered in Africa. This matters because most of what we know about ankylosaurs comes from North America and Asia. We've never found one in Africa. So this pushes both the timeline and the location of where these dinosaurs existed back further and wider. Speaking of club tails, this one might have had a club tail too, but not as big as that classic massive wielding warhammer that you expect from ankylosaurs. No, this one was something far simpler, probably in the early stages of its evolutionary journey. But why were there so many spikes? And more importantly, why were they in such bizarre places? They made no sense for protection. Like, why would you grow a giant spike on the top of your ribs? You're not blocking anything with that. So scientists are asking, maybe they weren't just used primarily for defense. Maybe they were used for display, showing off to potential mates, or even just flexing on predators. Whatever the reason, Spicomelis has thrown a wrench into the story of how armored dinosaurs evolved. It's like evolution was beta testing all kinds of armor, and this dinosaur was the prototype that pushed things a little too far. If you enjoyed my videos, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.